You know, Malta had a national final this year, right? So why have they changed their song before the deadline? Time to discuss this very detailly. Sort of. Well, titles. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everybody. I am Jamie Jew, and welcome back to a brand new video. And yes, we are diving into a new news, you well, topic kind of thing. Well, it's not a gossip thing, but it's the latest news has come out that, well, it's official now. Malta have officially changed their song for this year's Eurovision Song Contest, which is very legal to do so. Yes, in a nutshell, there is quite a loophole whereby even though you can have any sort of thing you want, whereby you can either internally select it or via the national final from public and jury choosing, that uh, you can choose whatever song is going to be you know, representing your particular country, as long as it's original, of course, in a Eurovision Song Contest. But you can potentially change it if things, well, if things aren't going your way, for example. The original song by Emma Muscat, Out of Sight, was the original option for Malta after winning this national final. And of course, if you want to see my review on it, you can check it out in the annotations over there. But they have since changed it internally. Emma Muscat, though, I should point out, is still the actual singer and representative and act, whatever you want to call it, that will represent Malta this year. But now the new song is called I Am What I Am. And this has now led to an interesting debate as to about whether this particular loophole is fair or not. So let's start looking at the positive thing as to why this could be potentially fair. Now, on the one side, if you selected the song internally, then of course you have every opportunity to potentially change the song if say you're not getting in so much engagement from the audience like they're saying is oh it's all right but it's not that uh, it's not enjoyable enough but it's or sort of mare in between or if you're not picking up the vibes from saying it's a votable particular song in which case absolutely you can go for something just that little bit more niche a little bit more out there if you think it's not engaging with the audience as you want it to in a sense that is a massive advantage if you've only got to go by a deadline from the, from the EBU in this case uh, as to whether you can go for or a, that song, or that song, etc. In a sense, Belarus did that last year, but, you know, theirs was sort of in unfortunate circumstances because their artist was, um, yeah, not nice people. But this is the first time I think I've ever seen it done from a national final. Now, whilst this is perfectly legal to do so and perfectly fine and within their every right, now I'm turning to the unfair side of it all. Because as I say, this has come from a national final where the jurors, or a certain amount of jurors, and the public voted for this particular song. The public had no say whatsoever in the broadcast just sort of going, yeah, we're not feeling it from the rest of the Eurovision audience, so we're going to choose another one. So in a sense, after all the hard work that the organisers did for that particular broadcast, and I'm talking about the, the camera people, the, uh, the the people behind, the, well, basically everybody behind the scenes who work on all the bits of, all the television stuff and everything, who of course have no say in deciding what particular song is going to be there. They just sort of work on the television. It's not just them as well, it's obviously the artists themselves, the audience that are there at the time being, you know, sort of sitting comfortably sort of going, hey! And then for the national broadcaster just to basically throw all of that out and select a new song for that particular artist, that does stink a little bit. It's a bit like, say, going into a tailor's and you've ordered a certain styling, obviously you've done all your measurements up, the colour of the suit and everything, you've paid for it, you then come back three weeks later and then all of a sudden the people are sort of going... Yeah, we didn't particularly like that one on you. So not only have we changed the styling of it in terms of the, you know, whether it's cotton or something else like that, the colour of it and also the size of it, because we think this is much better on you. No. I think this is an interesting debate as to whether this particular loophole should be taken full advantage of, because especially come from a national final... Yeah, that is iffy. Look, it's all fine, all very well and fine if it's done internally and you've selected one song and the audience have sort of gone, yeah, it's okay. And then you select another also internally and then that's a little bit better. That's perfectly fine. From a national final though, 
that's 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 debatable. But I think it's an interesting debate, and it's certainly got a lot of people talking. So I would dearly love to hear from you as to whether this is uh, fair or not, whether from either an internal selection or a national final, probably likely from a national final, as to whether this is fair or not. So yeah, please do let me know in the comments below what you think of it all. Is this a fair thing, uh, a fair, you know, fair loophole, effectively, of the rules that should be taken full advantage of, even after a national final? Or do you think it stinks and they should just go for just the one song and one song only uh, before, obviously, the deadline, and then they can't change it after that? Please do let me know in the comments below on what you think of it all. Uh, oh, you will be, of course, catching a new review of what I think the song is all about up in the annotations over there. Otherwise, you know the drill by now. So mash the like button as good as hard as you can if you did like this video. Subscribe for more of my Eurovision Juicy goodness, which I will be making, of course. And ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell to get notified about my latest videos. Easy for me to say. Anyway, thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.